this is section 1 in video 2 in previous video we wrote the, this code and saved as HT, search HTML. we just inserted some HTML codes like a form take and inside a form take we inserted two more input takes which resulted this small uh, simple box in this button search now in the background and also we inserted some CSS for example for the form take we inserted margin of 25 uh, 25 percent 25% the percentage sign means or 25 percent means this will uh, have a distance from four angles this form or this box because the box in the search button are inside the form take basically so this will have a distance of 25 percent a margin 25 percent from the body body starts from here and from here and from here these all four corners so we said in CSS that 25 percent of margin should be given to this form so here are that now I have just simply created a small logo for this search engine here on the desktop uh, you can see I created this in Photoshop and now I will control X to cut it and I will just go to that folder we already created for this project inside htdocs called search engine and inside that we have a folder images I will just control V to paste it here now we can include this logo file in our document to display here above this search engine box so we can insert just it uh, about the input take here just write IMG we always use for inserting the images inside the pages and SRC means source the source of the file so we say inside the images folder backslash the file name is logo dot PNG the PNG is the extension of the image now we will just this is a single tag you don't need to insert a closing tag for image tag in HTML control s to save and now come to refresh this page and you can see my search engine this is basically a picture I just created in Photoshop and if you just increase a little bit <coughs> you increase the margin on the body so it will go up a little bit this is the margin from the top but as in minus because in minus we said if we uh, did not add the minus sign then this box or this form will go bottom so we inserted minus to make it up a little bit so now replace the page and you are seeing it is a little bit up now you can see it is better and looking better in the browser now what we need to do more next next is that if someone clicks someone writes a query like SEO tips or anything and click this search now button so some results should be displayed by another page we have given here in the action of the form like result.php we don't have that page because we someone search this so there is no page you can see result.php is not there so we need to create that page we need to create that page and to work more but before that page we actually need to have some pages or data to show to display on the browser to the users who search here because we don't have any data so for that purpose we need to have uh, another page insert underscore site.php by using which we can insert the site details I mean the title of the site the link of the site the images and the description etc to our uh, database so after that we can show that data upon the user query so here we go the first thing is to create a database and after that 
to create a table inside the database so we can because we have already local host installed and make sure my sql is running after you install this software you should open it zim and after you open it you should see that the apache web servers is running and the mysql is running because this time we need to use mysql so my sql must be running in order to access it so these two are running now now we can go to write in our browser like localhost localhost and then enter so you will see the home page of the ZAMP after that you can select any language I will select English so after that you will see the interface of ZAMP now here at left side in the sidebar if you observe below here is an option PHP my admin which is an interface for dealing or for managing my SQL databases so click on that and after that you will be re redirected to MySQL interface so here you can create any database you uh, as many databases you want so I will click the databases and after that from here I will create my database called search and just I will click the create button this is the name of the database create you can see here the search database has been created now I will click that so inside the database you can create tables you can see the notice here create table so here is the name of the table the name of the table will be sites or you can name it anything but for this project we are going to use sites and now the important part is number of columns number of columns we need to insert the data uh, from our page insert underscore site dot php so we will need some columns for example uh, site id uh, site title site link site image site description so we need our site keywords so we need six columns over here so I write six columns and the table name is sites now click go from here so the table will be created the table is now created now you can uh, make it setting and the setting is site underscore ID the first field name will be site underscore ID the second field name will be site underscore title the title of the website or the web page <coughs> sorry and the third one will be the site link the fourth field will be having a name like site underscore keywords and the fifth name will be site underscore description or the short form DESC and the last one will be site underscore image so we can also insert an image name here to display with the results now you can uh, select their types the first site ID type will be in INT INT means integer uh, an integer value is a numeric value in PHP or in programming any programming language so that will be that and the second title <coughs> site title will be various characters and the site link will be various character its site will be various character site keywords type will be text site description will be text or keyword might be various characters or varchar you can say image will be text because we just need to save the image name because the images will be actually saved in this folder images which is here but we just need to as a reference we need to save its name over here so later on we can easily display that on the page on the resulted page now we have selected the types here we need to add the values or the lengths of these length of the characters for these fields so the first is 10 this is integer and its length will be 10 digits the next site title will be having a hundred limit or hundred length for characters site link will also be having hundred site keywords will also be having hundred and the site description might be up to 300 characters 
in the image might have a, na a name uh, up to 100 characters now one more setting you need to make uh, into this table and that is the site ID should be auto increment and a primary key will be assigned to this so this will automatically increase the number of the uh, the number of the queries or the number of the records inserted to this table this will this will be automatically incrementing so here you can come AI means auto increment you need to check this and also from here from the index select the primary key for the first field only because the first field is actually the site ID and which is very important in databases as well as tables because you need to always observe this site ID in order to display different result in uh, in order to uh, recall a specific a specific page from the table now all the setting have been made all the setting has been made and now you need to just save this click the save button so the table is now structured and you can see structure over here just by clicking the table sites you can see this is the structure of the table site IDs site title site link keywords and we have six fields and now for this we need to now insert the data this is our display page my search engine someone will search over here so we'll be going to another page results.php and now we need to insert the data into this table we have just created so for that we need to create a page called insert underscore site dot php we can directly insert data into this table from uh, here like you can see an option over here insert if you click this you can insert data to this table but you cannot actually insert images into this table that's why we need an insert page to insert all the site details as well as images so see you soon in next tutorial for creating up an insert underscore php page stay tuned